Hey gang, I am Squeezy Googles and welcome back to Crystal Schools 2. I ended last time having found the Crystal Skull, but now we're stuck in this room. So, firstly, if we come over here, we will find this shovel piece. And you might be able to hear that was very faint, a door opening. So come to this crawl space, and the door that opened is in here. Now we just light a flare bit dark so here's the door and so you can't leave without that shovel shovel piece so you're just making your way all the way to the end picking these flares up along the way so when you get out of here when you eventually get to the end there are some bats and you you just really 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 don't want them to take a chunk out of you so be as fast as you can to stand up and draw your weapons. Okay. And when we hop down here, there will be another one. Minimize damage. You'll just grab the end of the ledge and let go. And there's the bat. She only really aims at it if it's lower than she is. Okay. Follow it down, and be careful on that slope because you can just plummet. Uh, this bit's pretty simple, you might want to sidestep so you can do a running jump without that bit of slope bothering you. You want to stay in the centre, and that is why. There was another boulder on the left, but that fell down the other pit. Let's hop over them spikes. and. You see here, you've got a door. I didn't mean to just stop in front of that wall. Door and a pendulum. The button to open that door is down here. Here it is. Simple, simple. Not timed, so you can take your time. Make your way back up. and you're better off being to one side of this uh, the pendulum is in the center not by that ledge so you've got plenty of chance to be able to pull up Ooh, there we go I misjudged that but it's fine whoops okay so in here We've got a gate straight ahead. We need two catacomb discs to open that gate. One is through there. The other is through there. So I'm firstly just gonna grab some shotgun shells over here. Okay. And next, uh, I will first choose this door to get the first catacomb disc. The lever to open that door is in the water right in front of the gate, right here. All right. So you can just hop straight into the water because there is a small med pack. So now we'll follow the passage along to the main room here. And you've got a snake just there. So just deal with that first. It did not get me. So in this room we've got four doors. They're all two opposite there and then two on the other side. I'm firstly going to open all of them so you need to come to the ladder here because all the levers to open them are up the top here. Oh, 
just going to evolve, uh, adjust the volumes because I can't hear Lara, but I really can hear the background noise. So I hope that may have evened it out a bit. <laughs> that was quite drastic just there. So here's one, and that's open the opposite door. And you might have just spotted the uh, fourth lever. So from here, all the levers are up the top. So you've got these poles you need to swing on. And you only want to do a standing jump. And she can overshoot. So I'm just wondering where to stand right now. Okay, I might be too far away. Yes, I am. At least I didn't die. Okay, so just take a step forward. That may have been half a step. Oh, she got it. So just jump to the next and then when you're released, veer to the right. Super duper. So, second lever. Got another pole to the next one, but this one's actually pretty close. So just take a step back and then do a standing jump. Oh, how rude. Okay, so that one was actually kind of nasty to me. It <laughs> wouldn't let me grab. So yeah, you really honestly do just need to take a step back. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> cool beans. Okay, and to get to the fourth one, you just wanna grab these monkey bars. And something that I have recently discovered is that if you're on monkey bars and you hold the walk button and press the side, she'll shimmy along the monkey bars. That is something quite amazing. Don't worry about this fire, it has never set me on fire. Alright. Last lever. So, I will first start with this room. You do spawn a skeleton, so I'll just get my shotgun ready. Wait for him to spawn, here we go. <laughs> over the water if she doesn't fit to one side that was irritating <laughs> I think the music still may be a bit too loud oh get in the water gosh darn there we go so be aware that if you fall in the water he is wandering around in there and he will stab at you <laughs> So back here we have some shotgun shells and a jump switch here. So if we pull it... Well that doesn't seem to do anything useful. That is a hint that not everything here is useful. So we want to open that door in the centre. Let me just again play it with the sound. Okay, hopefully that's better. So in this room, there is a lever. And that's shown as a shot of the door, which means that we'll do something. We just need to find something else that will do something. So hop the gap. This room has a floor lever at the back there and a skeleton and the floor lever does not do anything so we just won't go in there because we don't want the skeleton chasing us around so nothing useful in there in this room you will spawn a bat okay oh i think he got me i don't know actually my health is actually okay okay and then this button opens the gate 
So you want the actual wall lever and the button. So now hop inside. And here is the first catacomb disc. Look, there's the skeleton wandering around in there. Oh, he's lost. How do I get out? Alright, we don't want you out. No offence, but you're a bit stabby. Okay, so now we've got the catacomb disc, we can make our way back to this main room. And we can go through that door. Now, it doesn't matter which door you go through, you have to come back here to use the discs anyway. And that junk switch right up there will open the door. So we've got another rooftop dealie, like in the first Crystal Skulls, where you uh, jumped around the roof to get to the shotgun. Another one of those situations. And particular tiles will spawn bats. You don't want them bothering you. Okay. So it's fairly easy to see which tiles to jump to, not too difficult. So I will be saving just because I don't want to keep sliding down and starting again. Oh yes, yeah, see, you see what happened there. Okay. One is a simple standing jump to here, and then from here you need to do a running jump. Did that spawn a bat? Yes it did. So if she points a gun, you know there's a bat. Where is it? Oh, she got it. Okay. Run and jump to the next flat tile. And over the water. I don't believe there's a bat. Nope. It'll be the next tile, I reckon. Okay, next tile, you don't want to be too close because you can overshoot. Awesome. And then this higher one. And then, oh, that is not a helpful angle. I kept doing that while I was practicing. You had to look through the gate that's behind. But yeah, like that, that is the worst angle. I don't think there's a bat. Nope. Right. This, with no meds, is pretty difficult. So as we pull this, we will spawn a spirit. So I'm definitely going to save. That is not the save button. So if I mess up too much, this is where I'm going to restart from. So pull the switch. And it will show you the door, but you'll want to hold the back button so she'll go into the water as quickly as possible. Swim to the door. As always, never go in a straight line with a wraith. He's already got me. A spirit, or whatever you want to call it. Oh, there we go. Awesome jump. Now just sprint down. The door will open. In here, just in this corner, you can pick this. And you want to crawl down here. And I know it's just tedious zigzagging while crawling but there is no sprint roll option. Keep moving Lara, don't stop there. Here we go, so I often save right here because I did pretty good down there. We've got rope swings coming up by the way. This is another reason for saving right there. Alright, so kind of the around so you've got a straight jump to the rope here. I don't know how she went down that rope while it was swinging. So she, yeah, it's not easy.
lever saving in mid action. If it goes bad, I will just reload from the ropes actually from now because I did pretty okay. Okay, roll, and you want to do a three step run and jump. You want to be all the way down on this rope. Okay, swinging, and I've noticed. As soon as you start to go backwards is where you're going to get more height, like so, which is very odd. So that lever, open the door straight ahead. Do your best to get to the door. Okay, come inside to the left. Perhaps if I crouch by that gravestone, the spirit will leave me alone. So I've had it before where the spirit does not acknowledge that stone and just circles around Lara and kills her. Oh, there we go. It's gone. So we now have access to this shovel piece. And if we come close to the cruel space we came from... I can now make use of this shovel in the previous crypt. So before we go back the way we came, there is a secret definitely saving let's just check my health that's that's good last time I practiced I had 1% health <laughs> still had to do the boss so you can do the boss without getting hit that's a thing that is a thing so uh, I'll try and do that just to show off <laughs> so save okay so in the middle gaps, you see the gaps in the wall. Uh, there are secret items. So let me do my best to get into the gaps. Well, you don't do it like that. You know, I struggled more just now with that rope than I did when I was under pressure. That took <laughs> too many attempts. Probably won't even count how many. But anyway, you're better off jumping to the second rope and then into this space. Because it's slightly closer to the space. We have a small med pack and a secret. Now just run and jump to the opposite side, and you've also got some shotgun shells. Okay. Now you gotta get out of here. So you may need to be at an angle, so you have to veer slightly to the left to grab the rope. Okay, let's see how it goes. Yep, I veered just ever so slightly. Not too much. Okay, so just try and line the ropes up. So I don't suppose it matters too much because I just kind of gunned it really when I was being chased by the spirit. So uh, you do get more air as you're coming back down if you jump off the rope, just as you start to come back down. Which is odd, I've never known a Tomb Raider to do that. Okay, so just come back through. And you may think, why didn't I just crawl and crouch at this stone? does not work it just needs to be that one specific stone but anyway anyway yes words today <laughs> anyway uh, you may think that you need to dig in front of this grave but no if you look up you'll see the X marks the spot on the ceiling and that is where you have to dig but you do have to be facing the grave 
So let's just combine their shovel. No. And you have to try and find the sweet spot. So it might take some stepping around. Cool. We have a hole. And you may not be able to walk straight into it because... Yeah. So just jump forward and hop back. And here is the second catacomb disc. Now we have two discs and we can use them. Just missed it. I bet that's great Laura's shins. Okay, this number one. And this number two. Awesome, so this gate will close behind you. And you don't want to just go running down into the water. We just save. The reason I saved is because I often just fall in like that. That is why. I don't know why it happens, but it happened. Okay. So you want to shoot the snakes in the water. It can be tedious to shoot. Sometimes they disappear underneath and you have to do your best to coax them out. Uh, to the left, well, no, no, that's the right, my apologies. And <laughs> to the right, you see a ladder, so you might be able to just grab the edge of that and coax them out that way. But anyway, you still don't want to be jumping down. So you just want to be on the highest point here, just this slightly higher bit. And if I use my binoculars, you can see just to the left, there is a cruel space high up in the wall. And if I use the light, you can see that invisible block there. So we've got a secret to get to there. So now I have actually finally killed the snakes, because it can be difficult to do that. I'm going to save. What a stupid place to save. But anyway, I'm going to get this secret. So I often light a flare, so I can sort of try and aim a bit better. Like veer a bit if I have to, towards the block here because sometimes I have missed before just overshot in the wrong direction yeah. okay so along with our secret we have a, we've got arrows and a large med pack and at the end is the secret <laughs> So now we can hop into the water. And the only way out of the water is right here. And over there, sort of above Laura's head, roughly around about, you can possibly just see a square doorway. So that's the way out, we just need to get there. So you want to jump over this slope over to here and this button is timed and I always prefer to save before a timer it's not necessary but it's just what I myself prefer to do I keep pressing the pause button today awesome so this is time so press it and hop back and flip so that you are the right way around a bit faster and this block here is raised so just turn around and jump straight up. Here we go. And you don't want to be too high here because you want to flip back. So you just flip back and grab this ledge. And just be careful in that corner near the flame because you can fall straight through that bit. Don't know why, you just do. 
So now we've got these blocks after pulling that lever and they are not timed, so don't worry. Let me just show you this. Yeah, you see, you see, it's crazy. Anyway, gonna climb out again because you can't reach the blocks from over there at the switch. So now run and jump. And again to the next one. Cool. And you do need to run and jump to here and I recommend... Well, I was going to say grab in the air but she flipped. I'm... God damn. Uh, I must have pressed the wrong button so she flipped around. I appear to be stuck. Oh my goodness. Did not mean to do that. I'm gonna take that because I was across anyway. So I grabbed in the air just because. Follow the passage around. And there will be a native in the room here. So I'm gonna opt for my shotgun just because I can. So three shots will do him and he drops a key. There it is. So I've had it before where I cannot find the key. He just happens to be lying right on top of it. So now from here we want to go through the gap in the ceiling. And you may have noticed this very odd looking block. This is how we're going to reach the ceiling. If you look behind you there is a chain I'm going to opt not to pull the chain what the chain does is activate fire coming out of the skulls there and it lets you see an invisible block but I like to yellow it across because <laughs> the block is there anyway it just allows you to realize that the block is there and it looks more dramatic <laughs> so this is where I'm gonna end it for today so I hope you Join me again next time for the boss battle. See you there. Take it easy, guys.